All right, I want to talk about how division is just like subtraction. Just like multiplication is repeated addition, where you're multiplying is a fast way to add the same number a bunch of times. Instead of going 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, we just say 5 times 4 equals 20. Well, division is just repeated subtraction. So let me give you an example. If we have 10 and we want to go ahead and divide that by 2, well, let's see how many groups of 2 we have in 10. So there's one group of 2, and we've got 8. Taking away twos, that gives us six. I'm gonna put the six up here. Take away two, and that gives us four. Four, let's take away two. That gives us two. I'm gonna put the two up here. Two take away two, that gives us zero. So we had to do one, two, three, four, five subtraction problems to do this division problem. 10 divided by two is one, two, three, four, five groups of two. Do you see that? How the eight that we got here then becomes the number up here. We're subtracting two each time. We're just doing it. The six down here becomes the six up there. Answer four. Four, two, 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 we finally get to zero. When we get to zero, we know we've taken all the groups of two we can. We count our groups of two. One, two, three, four, five, and 10 divided by two equals five. Want me to show it to you one more time? Let's go 12 divided by three. See if you can figure out this time what subtraction problem you would start with. Well, let's see, this was 10 divided by two. I put the 10 at the top. So here I'd probably put the 12 at the top. I subtracted two because I want to find out how many groups of two. Well, here I should subtract three. 12 minus three is a basic fact. And then we take that, put it up here, take another group of three. Take that, put it up here, take another group of three. Till we end up at zero. Once we get to zero, we know we've come up with all the groups of three, so let's count our groups of three that we took away. One, two, three, and four. 12 divided by three equals four. So division is just repeated subtraction. Multiplication is repeated addition. That's why they're inverse operations. They do the opposite of one another.